What's up everybody, it's I King so I'm here to bring y'all some more Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. But the point of this video, before I start this video by the way, please leave a like, comment down below your opinions on this video also, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I appreciate that so much. But let's jump right up into this video. The topic at hand, what happened to the Call of Duty franchise? as a whole now don't get me wrong all of this is just gonna be your opinions that's why i want to hear y'all's opinions down in the comment section below because i'm really interested in what y'all have to say about this video as a whole because i'm gonna give y'all my opinions and thoughts on the call of duty franchise right now as of 2018 to me the franchise is well we all know i know all y'all even the biggest call of duty fan cannot say the franchise is like dropping rapidly at the moment just and it's we're getting ready to hit the ground it's gonna hit a all time low sooner or later there is so bad call of duty is doing so bad that they've been hiding player counts and all stuff since call of duty like what was it call of duty advanced warfare they hi they started hiding player counts and all kind of stuff so we all know call of duty is going downhill not even call of duty the recent call of duty world war ii will save call of duty like no and the reason why i'm playing call of duty mom for remastered is because i had a thought on what happened to the franchise from here to now i had so much fun playing call of duty mom for remastered and i was just like why don't i have this joy of playing call of duty world war ii it's because call of duty world war ii like i've named the flaws so many times the maps are trash the score streaks are trash and the, like the hit detection like the aim assist and then they have the strength and there's so many problems with that game like i feel as though if call of duty if they would have gone back to like the days when there it was more simple as of call of duty like four or call of duty but modern warfare 2 even that simple where you're not having so many perks they have they've been they still have the same perks that they had month like years ago on call of duty it's just each year they try to like break off perks and put them into different categories or put two perks together and do something like that or they'll break a perk up, like apart and name it another perk when it's already it was already good that the perk it was at they try to do too much they kind of they try to make call of duty more complex than what it needs to be call of duty was fine like in its modern warfare stages like having a perk having three perks having a set three perks and that would be fine they didn't have to like break perks apart they didn't have to give us the pick 10 system and everybody running around like super soldiers i feel like call of duty ghosts the reason why a lot of people got like hated call of duty ghosts is not because of gameplay because in my opinion call of duty ghosts had some of the best boots on ground gameplay the score streaks or the kill streaks in the game were pretty garbage compared to like what may we're going to talk about the score streaks in a second but really call of duty ghost would have been a good game but i feel as though the pick 10 system threw people off a lot because everybody was running around like super soldiers and it was just bs and especially black like mom for three and call of duty ghost infinite warfares infinite well, in infinity war they try to do the most out of their games they tried to be the most infinite like innovative and it turns out to it just backfires on them each time they try to be more and more innovative it just backfires on them like the pig 10 system score streaks of uh, freaking death streaks all kind of stuff that the infinity ward has invented it's just it just always backfires like what else have they had it was something really score streaks and mom for three if y'all remember the no skill multi kill oh that 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 strafe bomber that no skill multi-kill let me know down in the comment section if you remember that if you're old enough to remember that no skill multi-kill and then dead man's hand i wish i can just go back and play that game i have no means to go back and play it i have no desire to go back and play mom for three i'm done with that game forever and ever but oh man all those things i feel like between once the old infinity war left because but i feel like what made mom for two so good was it was a game full of glitch it was it was so it was so bad it was good it was a game full of glitches nobody was supporting the game it was a game that they just threw out there to the people and let they're just like have it after that there were like no updates for call of duty there was like one update to like patch the models 
and then after that they were done they were like we're done with this game we're not going back to do anything for it there were nobody there to help out the game help out one man army people getting up on glitch spots getting crazy no scope backflip mog sniper kills and stuff like that there was nothing to help out Monfort to whatsoever, and I feel like that's what made the game really actually good because you had overpowered score streaks or kill streaks. They had kill streaks back then before the noobs started complaining about getting hit by AC-130 and dying about five times in a row and button smashing that square button. You wouldn't die five times in a row, but they had the overpowered AC-130, the chopper gunner. You didn't have spawn protection because people were not, they didn't They didn't figure they had to cry to the devs anymore or they didn't cry to the devs yet about getting killed back to back to back. I feel as though if somebody, like back then, if you got a higher score streak or kill streak, you deserve that kill streak and whoever let that person get that high skill streak, you deserve to die. That That's just point blank. Why are you complaining about somebody raining down an AC-130 on you if you let them get it? That's your own fault. So I don't know why Activision added in, or not even Activision, I don't know why Sledgehammer, Act, or, uh, Infinity War, and Treyarch added in like spawn protection because that's BS. Well, don't let the person get the kill streak and that won't happen. And even if somebody's camping, there's means to get somebody out of camp spot now on Call of Duty, so that's not even a good excuse. So I, I, I just feel like Call of Duty fell off on Ghost. When you have the Pig 10 system, and then you have people running around with super soldiers, you have like the UAV was gone around Ghost. So that I feel like that's when most of the sales were noticeable, and they still had the player count on in that game. And most people were playing Black Ops 2 for like almost two years because people were thrown off because so they were saying advanced warfare was not call of duty and stuff like that so people were playing black ops 2 for almost two years how people are playing black ops 3 now because people are thrown off how the hit detection and everything is going on with modern warfare or call of duty world war 2 so let me know down in the comment section below what do y'all feel as though when call of duty what what happened to the franchise when did it go downhill what made it go downhill and what can they do to bring it back to life? I can tell y'all what they need to do to bring it back to life. I'm going to let y'all know right now. I'm going to let y'all know. First of all, get rid of spawn protection. When somebody gets a big kill streak, they deserve it. And there is no reason for you to handicap the person that gets the big kill streak. There's already a thousand buildings in the way on these maps nowadays so you might as well just let that person use it and the people that get hit by it they can either go inside or they can just die i don't know why why oh why do i have to get handicapped for somebody letting me get a big kill streak so first for number one thing get rid of spawn protection number two fix your maps take the roofs off these maps fam battle battlefield or Battlefront, Battlefield. I think Battlefield. What am I saying, Battlefront? This is not Star Wars. Battlefield has had destructible environments ever since the PS3 days. Call of Duty has never done this. They can at least take the roofs off the map. So when you get a big kill streak, like a like a chopper gunner or whatever, the ball turn gunner in World War II or the helicopter, AC-130 and all the other games, something, whatever else is in the futuristic games, because I cannot name probably one score streak from those games. But... If you get a big aerial score streak, you should be able to take the roofs off and kill these noobs. Make the maps better, number three. The maps should follow the three-lane system. You shouldn't have a thousand different ways to go in these maps. I'm talking to you, Sledgehammer, because you guys, you and the new Infinity Ward, matter of fact, y'all love to make these maps just disgustingly bad. I don't know. I feel like the worst maps in Call of Duty history was Modern Warfare 3 and now Call of Duty World War 2. Because Call of Duty World War II maps, each and every one of those maps are trash. They're so trash. And you know their maps are trash because you know the DLC maps are going to be trash too because they're pulling a DLC map out of Call of Duty War Modern Warfare 3. And all of them Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 maps are trash. So what are they doing pulling a Modern Warfare 3 map out and making it a remake? Like uh, Even though one of that map is one of my favorite maps and it does follow the three-lane system on that map, it's still cluttered in a hundred different ways to go. And knowing how Sledgehammer works, they're probably going to open up a pathway that shouldn't be opened up. And you're probably going to get hit by a random direction. But those are probably my top three, like I said. And then I can do a top five, matter of fact. I'll give you all two more. Number four, the score streaks or kill streaks, whatever one they should do. They should, matter of fact, they should be 
kill streaks. I know, I know, it, it, people they're making them score streaks to get people more incentive to play the objective. But if y'all are so worried about people playing the objective, just get your own team of people and stop playing solo. Stop crying about people not playing the objective. If you want people to play the objective, just invite people to your party. And then y'all can play the objectives together. Just let people how, play how they want to play and stop complaining, you little noob, about how people are not playing the objective. Just let them play and that problem solved. That way we don't have like a debate between kill streaks or score streaks. You should be able to have kill streaks. If somebody just wants to run around the map killing people all game, you can play the objective and not worry about that person. If you're so worried about wins and losses, go worry about your wins and losses somewhere else and let me go run around the map killing you until I get a big score streak or kill streak, and then I can do both, play the objective, and keep killing you. So that just solves the problem. There should be kill streaks, not score streaks, because all these noobs do to get these high score streaks is running around, collecting a flag, or just waiting for the enemy team to get off their base, and they just get that flag, and they just do that over and over again. They will go like, there will be like like 2 and 15, and then all of a sudden they call in some like an AC-130, wherever the biggest score streak is, or a ball turning gunner, after they got one flag, and they're going like 2 and 6 or something like that. Like, that is disgusting. Like, they'll have like five flags, be 2 and 6, and call in a crazy score streak. That is that is so dumb to me. I don't know why they would make score streaks. I feel like they should bring back kill streaks strictly. If you're so worried about your teammate not playing the objective, invite people to your party, or just leave the game. Number five, number five, remove the automated stock from the game. Strafing people should not be able to zigzag like crazy. They should have it on like Mon Warfare style, how it is like in this game. You should be able to move like this. You shouldn't be able to zigzag crazy. People shouldn't be able to teleport when they're zigzagging because they're moving their left stick side to side and stuff like that. But this it's just my personal opinion i hope y'all enjoyed the video like i said if you enjoyed remember to leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel and let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below because i would love to hear from y'all the audience thank y'all for watching it's i can Snell here peace out and have a nice day